look at this Saldano SLO 30 in snakeskin Tolex. No animals were harmed in creating this fantastic, gorgeous, snaky vibe. To be honest, when they said, hey, we're gonna send you the snakeskin SLO 30 combo, I was like, I have a total phobia of snakes. I'm like, I don't know if I can sit next to it. Um, it's fine. Look at this. We're friends. We're totally friends. Plus, I mean, the Saldano has this legacy with the snakeskin Tolex. It's pure Saldano. I have had a vintage Saldano uh, SLO 100 uh, for a long while now. All of that sound is in the new SLOs. The 30 watt is just at a more manageable volume. And now you have a usable effects loop. The vintage SLOs really don't have a usable effects loop. As soon as you turn any gain, everything turns to mush. But not now. They fixed it. The new ones sound fantastic. The effects loop works at all gain levels. And they added the depth knob, which was not a standard feature on the old uh, Saldanos, the vintage ones. So this uses 5881 power tubes in here, 30 watts. It's a 112 combo with a Celestian G12H Redback speaker in there. I love this speaker. The speaker was a revelation to me. Uh, it is a high wattage speaker, so you could just run anything through a 112, just blast it. And it has that character of greenback, sort of in between a greenback and a V30. Like when you mix the two, to me, it kind of sounds like this Redback. I really love this, especially in 112s. Good choice. 112 combos and high gain don't always go well together, but I was quite surprised at how well this works. I wouldn't normally lift it up to ear level, but man, on the ground, it's just like beefy and like, it's just gives, gives me everything I am looking for in 30 watts of high gain. It's really nice stuff. So let's dive in. I'll show you some tones. I have it mic'd up with a 57 and an Audio-Technica large diaphragm mic. They're going into API preamps. It's just straight in. It's a two channel amp. I think the Saldano clean sound is very underrated. It's super clean and really punchy. Perfect for like those 80s cleans. Both channels share an EQ, but the clean channel does have a, its own bright switch and you could switch it over to crunch mode. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
got a L cap in the effects loop. I just want to show you like really sustaining gained out sound with a delay in the effects loop of a SLO and it works beautifully. Look at this. Awesome. It's a great sounding effects loop. There's a ton of gain on tap. With a SLO, I always find that I'm somewhere between four and six, but I mean, you could go all the way up. These go to 11. I don't advise it. I think like where the amp wants to be is more like a seven or eight. And along those lines, you don't need to crank that depth knob. I think between zero and two is more than enough. Saldano SLO 30. It's got all of the huge SLO sound and it's uh, right for that uh, that itty bitty living space, you know? Uh, 30 watts works great. It does everything it needs to do to wear the badge of SLO. Uh, so if you want to check out more, I'll put some links below, uh, but you know where to get this kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, if you love searing huge leads and clean cleans and the lineages of Ed's and Warren's and George's and Eric's, can I just go on forever? Uh, Steve's, the other Steve, Luke, Mark, Vivian, Prince.